Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Always Making. I am so excited you're here. So who am I? My name is Jahan and I have a website called Small Home where I'm all about helping you make your dream home for less. I share lots of affordable and sustainable DIY and upcycling projects for your home. And what I love most about making is helping other people. So every month I'll be dropping a new episode here on YouTube where I go into someone's house and help them DIY and upcycle a piece of furniture or home decor. So let's get started. Hey guys, I am so excited for today. Today I'm going to be taking you with me to my friend Sarah's house. She lives in Karoi, which is about a 25 minute drive from where I live here on the Sunshine Coast. And basically she got in touch with me a few weeks ago and told me that she had this beautiful footstool that her mother has had for a really long time and that her mother recently gave to her. Now, it needs a bit of updating, so she's asked me to come over and help her, which is so exciting because if there's one thing I love most about DIY and upcycling, it's helping other people. So I've actually seen some photos of the footstool and it's absolutely beautiful. So the plan for today is to head over to Sarah's, sand it down and stain it. And we also need to reupholster the cushion and Sarah's got some really cool ideas for finishing the footstool based off some inspo that she's been collecting online. So Sarah and I have been friends for quite a few years now. She was one of the first people I met on the Sunshine Coast when I moved here about eight years ago. She is a very well-known chef and it's no secret I am obsessed with her food. So she's been cooking for me at her various restaurants for the last few years and to be able to now go over to her house and give back and help her bring a beautiful piece of furniture into the now is such a dream come true for me. And I am honestly just so excited. And I really hope she's gonna cook us lunch today. I have no expectations, I've packed a few snacks, but if she did, I definitely wouldn't complain. <laughs> So here is the beautiful footstool Sarah's mother recently gave her. I absolutely love the design and as you can see, it has so much potential. Sarah's mother has had this footstool for a really long time, so it's a very special piece and I have to admit, I was really nervous. But let's quickly rewind. As soon as I got to Sarah's house, I realized I had actually left my camera at home and then, which I have no idea why, instead of filming in landscape on my iPhone, I filmed in portrait, which I'm so sorry about, but it's only for this first day, so I hope you don't mind. The first thing we did was to remove the existing cushion and give the footstool a thorough clean with Sarah's dog George overseeing the process. After a coffee and a chat we got back to work and Sarah started sanding the timber. I have to say it was really nice showing her how to do this while also catching up on all our latest news. We were hoping to discover a lighter timber underneath but instead we got a mix of timbers which can happen quite often when sanding upcycled pieces of furniture. With every single upcycling project I've worked on, something like this always happens. So it's really important not to get bogged down by these details, but instead think creatively as to how you can make the final result better. We decided to push on and seal the timber with a beautiful walnut stain. And look, whilst today didn't go exactly to plan, we restored the footstool back to its former glory and spent some time figuring out our next move. Sarah also made us some delicious shakshuka for lunch and whilst we ate, we came up with a really exciting plan for day two. I am back home and let me tell you, today was incredible to say the least. Now, I did learn quite a few things. The first thing is that when you are doing some DIYing or upcycling with a friend, things take twice as long. <laughs> And I'm totally okay with that because it's also such a great excuse to catch up and to see what each other have been doing recently. And yeah, I just think DIYing and upcycling is the perfect excuse to catch up with a bestie. Now, not only did I learn about that, but I also realized that things happen that you least expect it when you are upcycling. And today we were both a little bit disappointed that the timber wasn't as light as we had anticipated. But I think we've come up with a solution and I've asked Sarah to go and buy some paint in some lighter colors than what we had originally anticipated. So that's her homework. 
I'm really excited to get back to Sarah's. I think we'll be able to book in a date in a couple of weeks because we're both honestly just so busy. Um, but yeah, today was amazing. Like I honestly, this buzz, the feeling of being able to help her and spend time with a friend. And she also did make me lunch, which was amazing was indescribable and I'm just so excited to see what day two will bring. So thanks very much for joining and yeah, let's dive into day two. <laughs> I'm back at Sarah's and beyond thrilled, I remembered to bring my camera today. And as soon as I arrived, I decided to make a beeline for her nasturtium bush to pick some leaves and flowers for a salad we're having for dinner tonight at home. Now, obviously, I love that she has this growing wild in her garden. I'm also really excited because I'm wearing my new small home DIY uniform from Cargo Crew and I cannot wait to show you more. But first, it was so adorable to be greeted by Sarah and my new best mate, George, at the front door. I absolutely love Sarah's house. It's so beautiful and cozy and she's really into interior design, which I love. And while George was a bit shy to begin with, he soon warmed up to me and thank goodness because I am obsessed with him. We ended up going straight out the back and got to work selecting colors for the striped painted footstool. Sarah chose three colors by Dulux, warm nutmeg, caramel sundae and basket weave beige and because paint can look very different when it's wet compared to when it's dry we decided to paint a sample first on a piece of paper the colors looked good enough to drink but obviously we didn't do that sarah had also chosen a beautiful tonal boucle fabric to reupholster the cushion which was also slightly stretchy so while we waited for the paint to dry we got to work on the cushion Reupholstering cushions might seem intimidating to the uninitiated, but the process couldn't be more simple. After cleaning the cushion with a steam cleaner, the next step was to place the cushion on top of the fabric, then measure and cut the fabric, ensuring we had plenty of it to cover the underside of the cushion. Once this was done, we placed the fabric down on our workbench, followed by the cushion, which was also placed face down. From here, we folded the fabric over the cushion and stapled it down. Some extra care is needed here not to stretch the fabric too tightly so that it ripples the cushion, but we also need to be mindful that we're pulling it tightly enough so the fabric doesn't sit loosely over the cushion. The next step was to trim and staple the corners so they weren't bulky, and then we did a quick check to make sure the cushion fit back into the footstool, and it did. We checked the paint sample and it had dried, so we spent some time deliberating as to which colour Sarah should paint the footstool. We were really torn between Caramel Sunday and Basket Weave Beige, but in the end, Sarah chose Caramel Sunday, which in my honest opinion was the perfect choice. I also love that Sarah chose a paint colour with the name Caramel Sunday because she's a chef and loves food. Next, we spent time applying painter's tape to the footstool in a striped pattern, making sure to press it firmly into the corners and pressing it down to avoid any paint bleeding underneath. We used a piece of tape to make sure the stripes were evenly placed, which is an old painter's trick and works like a charm. While this was happening, I couldn't help but stop to smell the jasmine and spend some time with my mate, George. And here is the footstool with the tape. In my mind, I actually thought the cream looked really cool, but next we got onto painting the footstool. And obviously this was a bit nerve wracking because once it's on, it's on and it's a big commitment. But Sarah went for it and from here, we applied two light coats of paint and waited for the first coat to completely dry before applying the next coat. And while the second coat of paint was still wet, we started to remove the painter's tape. <laughs> right, let's do it. Yep, make oh, sure you go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> she looks good. Oh, that's a little bit paint. George's butt is right in my way. That's it. Oh my god, that was so funny. Oh my goodness. Honestly, look, my favorite part is and always will be removing the painter's tape to reveal the striped pattern. So I'm really happy Sarah got a lot of joy out of it too. 
I actually took over from Sarah because she had some tradies arrive at her house and by the time they left, the paint had dried. So we sealed the footstool with Dulux Matte Clear Coat Spray. And there you have it, Sarah's beautiful upcycled striped footstool. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm so impressed with how it turned out and the colors work so well together. Even though we ran into a few roadblocks to begin with, we rolled with the punches and kept persevering. And I'm really glad we did. And I have to say, it looks so good next to her pizza oven. It feels as though it's always been there. So I'm back home and honestly, that was the best day ever. I cannot believe how beautiful Sarah's footstool looks now. And honestly, even though we were both a little bit disappointed that the timber wasn't as light as we had hoped for, all we needed to do was change the color of the paint for the stripes and that's what we did and honestly I'm so excited for her and I cannot wait to see what her mother thinks so I also hope that you have enjoyed today's episode and if you have it would mean the world to me if you could like and subscribe to my youtube channel always making so I look forward to seeing you next month when I drop another episode and wait till you see what I've got planned for you next <laughs>